Are you a fan of 2D platforming games? Check out my review of Gravity Duck coming up next on Mumbles. Welcome back everyone to another episode of Mumbles. On today's episode of Mumbles, we're reviewing a game called Gravity Duck. Hello cute little duck, how are you today? Whoa. Okay, I wasn't expecting this guys, this is really weird. My one question though is what happens when they turn the gravity back on? No, Mr. Duck, please. Mr. Ah! <laughs> Ooh, I am okay, guys. I am okay. So we're going to talk about Gravity Duck now. But first, before we do that, I have to ask you guys all a huge favor. If you haven't already, please do subscribe to the channel. Hit that little notification bell. Drop the video a like if you like the content. It all helps the channel grow. You guys know the drill. Just know how much I appreciate it. So anyways, guys, now let's talk about Gravity Duck. Gravity Duck is a game that is available for PlayStation 4, Xbox One, Nintendo Switch, and is also available on Newgrounds. So you could technically go and try some of the levels of this game on Newgrounds if you're trying to decide whether or not you want to buy it. Now this game can be picked up for those systems, minus Newgrounds, for the price of $4.99. What the heck is this game about? I'm about to read you the description from the creators themselves. Have you ever wanted to be rich? What if you could be rich and control gravity? This duck can help you. Flip, dodge, and traverse your mind-bending gravity puzzles in 140 in order to grab all the eggs to return to the Moolah statue. Need to change the direction of your gravity flips? Use the gravity wheels to switch the direction of your fall in order to get around obstacles and grab the eggs. Features. Flip between 140 levels across four chapters. Catchy 8-bit music. Vibrant pixelated puzzles. Use gravity wheels to change the direction in which you will fall. Dodge spikes, projectiles, and traps to secure the eggs. So guys, in my own words, this is one of those 2D games. We've all seen a bunch of them. This is just the latest in a, in a long line of 2D games like this. And uh, the one, that, the thing that caught my eye on this was the fact that you can control gravity. So it's not just on one flat plane. It's actually four different planes that you can be on at all times, depending on which wall you're on. And I found that really cool. So I wanted to give it a try. So now we're going to talk about the graphics, the soundtrack, and the controls. First off, the graphics in this game. This game has pixelated graphics. And they're just kind of whatever. They're by no means great, they're by no means bad, they're just okay. Obviously this game was originally designed for Flash, so you can't expect a lot graphic wise and there's not a lot here. Soundtrack wise, this game has just a whatever kind of soundtrack. I'm not really a fan of it, honestly, it's kind of gaming elevator music, but it's okay for what this game is and for the price. Control wise, actually on this game the controls work really well. I'm playing this on the Nintendo Switch and it works really really well with the controls. Controls are sharp. They function great, and they are on point. So nothing bad to say about the controls. Really nice controls. Now let's talk about the gameplay. In Gravity Duck, you do the same thing as many other platforms. Jump past enemies and obstacles without touching them. However, unlike other platforms, each time you jump, gravity flips. Meaning, if you jump, you're going to land on the ceiling or on a wall if you hit a gravity well, or wherever it is you're trying to go. So you have to take this into account and use it to dodge various items that are both on the floor and on the ceiling and on the wall and it creates a platforming game that is on four different planes and is really interesting so guys as you can see from the gameplay footage that's playing right now that's all this game is it's very simple very easy to understand i don't really have to talk a lot about it so i'm not going to i'm going to go straight into the cons now the first con that i have for this game is that it is difficult guys this game has a lot of rage moments in it Moments where you just can't get past that spike, or you just can't figure out what to do, or you just don't know what direction to move in. Those moments do happen in this game, unfortunately, and they can cause some frustration when they do. Now, my second con is that this game's story is a little lacking. Now, I understand that this originally was a Flash game, so they weren't really worried about any kind of story, but it would have been nice to see them put a little bit more effort into it when it was released on regular consoles, because... It's just like, oh, get golden eggs and get money. It's like, I don't care about the story. The only thing I care about is beating the levels. So I really wish they would have done more with the story, but that's just my own personal gripe. Now all that I have to talk about is what this game is going to get on our overall Mumbles review. Guys, I love platforming games. I've been a big Mario fan my entire life. And I love these little games that come out that do something a little bit different than the last one. So this one has the gravity element. That's the only thing that's really different about this game. Is it enough to make it a good game? For the price of $4.99, it is a decent game. But when you stack it up against other platformers out there, guys, I gotta be honest. This game is just kind of one of those whatever games. If you play it, you play it. If you don't, you don't. And it's for this reason, on today's Mumbles Review, I am giving Gravity Duck a 4 out of 10. 
it's not a bad game by any means. It's just kind of one of those games that's it's just there, guys. It's, there's not really much to do with it. There's no replayability. Once you beat it, you beat it and you're done. For the price of $4.99, though, you are getting a lot of bang for your buck. If you enjoy platformers, I definitely recommend that you check this one out. So anyways, guys, this has been my review of Gravity Deck. I hope you guys all enjoyed it. Please smack that subscribe button, smack the like button, smack all those button, 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 buttons. And I'll see you guys all in the next video. Bye, everyone. Take care.